Hey, how you doing? My name is Chris. Thanks for joining me here today. What I want to talk to you about is Faraday's Law. Simply stated, Faraday's Law is generated voltage is directly proportional to the rate at which the magnetic lines of force are cut. And if you look over here, I have a very simple two-pole generator drawn. Okay, our orange circle is going to represent our conductor. What Faraday's Law is telling us is the faster that conductor moves through those lines of force or cuts those lines of force, the more generated voltage we're going to get. If we take a look at where the position of the conductor is right now, if we imagine that our conductor is moving this direction or up right now, we're always going to move in a counterclockwise rotation. Okay? Right now we're not actually cutting through any of those lines of force, so we're not actually getting any generated voltage. Let's call this position A. Okay? Over on our Cartesian plane, I'm going to plot position A right here. Now, let's rotate our conductor 90 degrees. So our conductor is now moving at 90 degree angle towards those lines of flux or a right angle. We are cutting the maximum amount of lines of force right now, so we should see maximum generated voltage. We're going to plot that over here. Point B, we're going to call this point B. Let's put that right here. Okay. Now, we're going to rotate this another 90 degrees. Here's our position C right here. Once again, we are now moving down. We're moving parallel to those lines of force. We're no longer cutting lines of force. Therefore, we're getting no generated voltage. We're going to plot our point C right here. Okay, there's our point B. And rotate it again, 90 degrees down here. This is going to be our point D. And we're now moving in the opposite direction. Whenever you move a conductor through lines of force, you're going to get a generated voltage. That generated voltage is going to get a current to flow. If you move the conductor the opposite direction through that lines of force, you're going to get an opposite flow of current. Okay, so because our conductor is moving the opposite way now, we're actually going to see a maximum generated voltage down in our negative quadrant. We're going to call that our point D. We're going to rotate it right back to position A here, which means we should be right back at zero. If we follow this through, we should start to see this generated sine wave value. Okay, next video I'm going to talk to you about is how to use Fleming's left hand rule to actually decide what direction current is going to be flowing on your conductor with your generated voltage. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps. Have a good day.